Hi Gleek.io fans! In this video, we'll show you how to create a class diagram for a bank ATM system. Open up the Gleek app in your browser. Select the Class Diagram option from the drop-down. First, we need to work out what classes we need. We'll start with the Bank class. Just type the word Bank, hit Enter and the Tab key, then add your attributes and methods. The Bank needs a code to identify it and an address. The methods that the Bank class can use to interact with its ATM are Manage and Maintain. The plus symbols indicate that these attributes and methods are public. Next, we need to create our ATM class. The ATM is managed by the bank and it has a location. Its methods are related to transactions, which it identifies and carries out. We should add a line between the bank and ATM classes to show how they work together. Just type the word bank, followed by one in curly brackets, and the label maintains and the ATM. The one tells us that a bank can have one ATM. Every bank needs customers, so we'll create a customer class. Customers need a name and an address. The relationship between the bank and the customer is that the bank has customers. The only method for the customer is to own an account and to own a debit card. Let's create those now. An account has a type such as savings or checking. It also has a method to enable it to check the account balance. A customer owns the account, so we create a labeled connection between the two. The debit card class has a card number and is also owned by a customer. Its method enables it to access the ATM and therefore the account. We'll connect the customer with the debit card class. Now, we need to model the transactions that can take place when the customer uses the ATM. The base class for this is ATM Transaction. It has three attributes, Transaction ID, Date, and Type. Its method is to update. Let's imagine that the customer can perform two different types of transactions on the ATM. They can withdraw funds or transfer funds to another account. For the first, we need an ATM withdraw class. That has an amount attribute and a withdrawal method. The second is covered by an ATM transfer class. This also has an amount attribute, but it also has an account number attribute so that the customer can send money to a different account. These last two classes are special because they share the ATM transaction class as their parent class. That means that they can inherit functionality from the parent class. For instance, these transactions can make use of the update method to interact with the account class. You can show inheritance in a class diagram by using solid arrows. Now we just have to create the last two interactions. The ATM identifies an active ATM transaction, and the transaction can in turn modify the customer account. So that's a basic diagram of an ATM system. 
It shows you how easy it is to sketch out how systems work in Gleek. If you learned something new, hit the like button or subscribe for more videos. Happy diagramming!